Okay, and time for this week's MLP read on like and I know I always say um both of you can try to make them quick because I want okay. Let's see if I c I've been weekly I've been getting better at that, but let's see. Uncommon Bond written by Josh Haver and Kevin Lappin. Yes. Okay then. So is a couple code some birth, you know, from outside town and he and Star Starlight are gonna start hanging around at friends they are. However, um, some birth starts, you know, bonding with some of tricky other friends, such as Twilight and Maud and such. And he started bonding with the other friends so much that Starlight tends to feel left out because she feels he has more common with them than with her. You know, he bonded with Twilight over, you know, magic stuff and old ponish and text and stuff like that. And then, it, you know, when it's going with tricky magic, you know, you know, Twilight, they're going to also do magic, I guess. And, the, and with Maud over rocks, because he's into that, apparently. Um, so, yeah, um, um, at first I did kind of scoff at this one because it's a pretty cliche premise. I mean, you do kind of, like, you know, the get up where you've got the friend who is talking to other friends, and then they, you know, start, yeah, you know? Yeah, I'm pretty sure even the show done, done like a very Asian on the get up, I mean. A friend get you know get jumped that friend and hang out with someone else you know. Uh, There's soda to come from the van. Yeah, Anthony kind of came in, but I'll just be on and have to do something. But anyway, better read and make quick. Like we even showed on a variation on the kind of crap. I have the nap of variations on it. So it's like okay, here we go. But in the end, I didn't. I knew I'm gonna like it, but. I, yeah, I ended up liking at least a bit more than I expected. I mean, it's still don't what you would expect, but I feel like with the specific way they handle it makes it you know, interesting. You know, it's like it focuses more on the fact not necessarily about any bonding with friends, but over some over other things where it can like you know, uncommon bond. You can you know, she feel like they don't have a lot in common you know, anymore. Um, you know, compared to the you know, other friends. You know, and that's kind of interesting dilemma compared to other variations of the club I've seen. You know, with one focus on the bond and things having common element, you know. And, yeah, um, the comes from Prankly Nice. There's just something pleasant about it. I've got a few montages and Starlight and some of the other friends hang out, and it's really nice, you know. You know, there's no, like, like, get them in or anything else, like, come burst in the other part. You know, he's not. You know, being malicious or anything like that, he just kind of like taking you know the comic be starting feel, you know, you know. But go ahead, class. I but I, I do find it a little interesting how we end up. I found a fun shit gonna be him and Twilight the whole episode. You know, it's about their bond. You know, getting you know Twilight book port, but then they move on. They show a uh, tricky mod, and I went, but it's cool silly that he's doing it with two of her characters. It's like it still work, but I'm like. But I think they did that because we're going to have a friend Ma Starlight made in the theory of Mon uh, with Hingen, too. Um, yeah, so it's, yeah, I think that's the only thing. I mean, he kind of tricked me in a few up go so it's like, yeah, but actually, but actually, the big they bring it in to kind of show some of the friends that she's made. I kind of like that. It's kind of, kind of clever. Um, and of course, you know, it's a relatively predictable ending because Eventually, some of them find out how she feels, and then they involve it in a pretty clear cut way. But, you know, it, you know, in the show, they get like better up because we're like, okay, it's not complicated on the show because we gotta solve it, you know, in a different way. You know, it's pretty clean wiggle. I just, yeah, we're talking. We're just not drawing nothing that's really important. Um, yeah. But yeah, this actually was a pretty nice episode. It's clear cut, you kinda of know what's gonna happen, but if you're really invested in the characters, you might end up liking a cool file boss become gets some really nice code and things. Yeah, and I do kind of feel starting yeah. I mean in the end it, some people probably will read an awful lot of comments what the heck. But you know, yeah, they're giving muting sequence, you know, close to the end that sounded interesting cute. Um 
Then looking like and then again, it's looking like a pagode and five vertical shape plants, they do believe in the premise and do come like with it. Bring up a rubber show, which might just you you know, okay, we're gonna try to demo time, we'll just do it, you know. Well this one I can do anything that new, it does something really become interesting when correlation to character, so then that kinda how you do it. So yeah, I'm combined that five I have well look up because well again, the main thing about you were for like I did do a real plan with but I I just felt go you know I rate it good, it's like I'm quite apathetic to a lot of it because it's just like yeah, you know, low point of what you see before. But this one packed a little more life to it than that. So I'm trying to hear off with that one kind of think of it. Well yeah, yeah he did. So I think Kevin Lappin kind of helped out on this one. Last year we're going over to the Glee Crusade story. We're going to hear work a lot of time before he got a little edition. Um, so I guess bring back to a group fat one and partly the one. But Kevin Lappin definitely helped out pretty well in terms of the and yeah. I thought Radical Bunch could have been so many. On it, Apple, yeah. It changed the changeling. Yeah, but it's a good bit flawed. So I guess it kind of redeemed them in terms of being really think it didn't be good. You know, go. Good on you. Your reputation might have been gained by the couple go if you know, fans would like to try at least. Go. And those who don't like her, oh well, better luck. I don't even love her or anything like that. It's fine. Go. Yeah, that I get from Colin Bond, but I caught the game. Very cool shape product, but they breathe a little life into it to make it a nice cup of Cody. It's not a bit too or challenging or anything like that. It's not one of my favorites, but it's not. It's called Solid Good. They're going to be entertained by you. Let's go. Batting on Common Bond for you next week. with King of Finale, Shadow Play. Go, Buck, I'll be down to my pony for, to like, I don't know, March to April ish. You know, good, truth be told, and not. We do it for a certain amount of time to get my passion, so, in VR in general, I'm not. I'm definitely more comfortable on the keyboard go as such, you know, but Victor and I'm for VLOG will be the only one he really got for a show. For first press VLOG, I'll talk more about that on the next one, which will be the bigger getting hopefully. I'll talk more about plans for that. We have to go with the fast one. Go, yeah, go. Yeah, no reason I'm still doing anything because I've been doing anything in King of Five and I might as well keep doing them until the show ends. Go. So, yeah, and go. I always find something to talk about, so it's not like I'm lost every time. You know, just, you know. I just want to say that. I just, yeah, I have been wanting to cut down on the vlog off and, you know, can get it or I'm not always. But I'm interested in the show and doing the vlog enough to keep doing it because I feel like. Mine will, and I find, as long as I have up, I'm going to worry something. Like it when you're done. Okay. I need to get stuff from the car when I'm done here. But that can catch you to finish the cup. Go, yeah. Good episode. Vlog, I'm not crazy interested in, which is why outside of Vic and Milo, you won't see any other shows. Um, at least in, until I'm, like, up for it. You know, and we'll talk for special vlog when the next one. But I thought the movie can become guy to and for, for my own blue more passion again I couldn't do a show and the kind of show I'm watching for like years you know, now I got into in twenty eleven. We're gonna talk about for a few years. Not only I just left interested, you know, but again that was something I'll talk more about when I talk about the at the end of the Shadow Play vlog where I talk a little more about the on the King and stuff like that. So I shall see you next week for Shadow Play and anything else.